Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to go over another Google question. This one might be a bit trickier than the last one. So let's jump straight into it. Given a string, we want to delete any character if it's already been used and return the new string. So essentially, we're going to be deleting any reoccurring characters and we're going to be returning what the string would look like without them. So in this case, A, A, B, B, C, C, we can see that this A, this B, and this C are reoccurring characters because there is already a C, a B, and an A somewhere before that in the string. So in this example, we would just print out A, B, C. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little second to try and figure it out. Pause this video if you need to and try and think of a solution. All right, so the solution we're going to be using today involves two data structures. The first one is a set, and the second one is an empty string which will populate. So what we want to do is our algorithm is going to go through every single one of these characters individually one by one. As soon as it goes through the first character, what it will do is check whether or not it is in this set. So this set right here, we're going to be using it as like a visited set. So any character we've already seen before in the string, we are going to add it to this set. So let's try going character by character. So we can see we get to our first character A. So we see it is not present in our set. So what we are going to do is add it in our set and we're going to append it to this empty string. Just like that. So the next character we go to will be this other A. The first thing we're going to do is check whether or not it's in the set and we can see that A is present in the set. So we're just going to disregard this character and move on to the next one. We now get to B. We can see B is nowhere to be found in our set. So we add it to our set and we append it to the end of our new string. We can see that our next character is another B. We have B present in our set already, so we're going to disregard it. And we do the same thing for this C. We can see that C is nowhere to be found in the set, so we append it in there and append it to our string. And then we um, can see that this, when we get to this C, there's already a C in our set, so we don't have to worry about doing anything. And there you have it, we can just return our new string. Now, a question you might be having is, why don't we just print out this set? That's a good question, but we have to remember that sets are unordered, which means if we were to just print every element in this set, it might print out C, B and A, which is not what we want. So if we were in an interview and we were given um, this question, our interviewer, once we solved it, would ask us to find the big O time complexity and memory complexity of this problem. So let's start with the time complexity. We can see that there are going to be n elements in any, um, in any string that we are given. And we have to go through every single one of those n elements to add it to our set or check the set alone. So already we have a runtime of n. Now, we might think that every single time we have a character, we have to check whether or not it's in the set and therefore it should be n squared, but that's actually incorrect. To check whether or not a element is in a set, it actually has a big O complexity of constant, which means one. So for every single character, we are checking whether or not it's in the set, but because sets, hash sets, have a look of time of O of one, um, we actually keep our time complexity at n. In this case, it would be at 2n, but we know we only want the um, actual polynomial here which means our time complexity is going to be big O of n. Now, in terms of our space complexity, we can see that we have to store elements in a set and store elements in a string buffer. Now, worst case scenario, every single, um, every single character here is unique, which means we will be storing n characters in our set and n characters in our string, which means worst case scenario, we would be storing 2n, which just cancels out to be n. And there you have it, both our big O time complexity and our big O space complexity would be O of n.
Alright, so let's see how we would code this in Python. The first thing I'm going to do is create a function that takes in the string as our input parameter. Now, after that, we have to initialize the two data structures we said we were going to use. The set and the empty string. So we can see here, I'm just simply creating a set in Python and creating a blank string. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is for each through every single character within our input string like we did on the blackboard. So we're going to make a simple loop for that for char in string. This will, for those of you that don't know, just simply iterate. Um, every iteration of this for loop will have a different character as char, depending on what was given in the input string. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is check whether or not it is in our set, just like we did before. Now if it isn't in our set, we're simply going to add it to our set and append it to the end of our string, and it's pretty much as simple as that. We don't have to write an else condition because if it's already in our set, we don't have to do anything with that character. Now we're just going to simply return our output string. So let's write some code here to test that. Let's say I'm given the input string a, a, b, b, c, c, space, Anthony. I want to test whether or not it will print the right output. Now we can see here if we run the program, we will get a, b, c, nthoi, <laughs> if that makes sense. We can see here it didn't print out the a in my name because we already have an a. And the second n in my name is also gone because we all wrote, already had an n. There you have it guys, you now know how to solve another Google interview question. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, give us a like and a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, we're going to be posting daily videos and if you want to see the code we just wrote, I posted it all on GitHub and it'll be available in the description below. Like I said, thanks a lot for watching, I'm Anthony your host and have a great day.